today uh, we're going to go through uh, how to set up a, a simple uh, home network uh, um, uh, mainly for file transfers uh, so I'll be uh, using my main uh, desktop PC uh, as a server running puppy Linux and it is actually uh, running a uh, uh, distro of uh, fossa pub 64 uh, now on the uh, server side, you need a FTP server application. So in Puppy Linux, it's called Pure FTP. Uh, so that's actually installed and already running in the background. So on a client uh, laptop, which is the one that I'm recording the uh, uh, desktop here, is uh, running a Tiny Core uh, 13. It's a 32-bit machine uh, uh, running, as you can see, JWM uh, a window manager. So since the uh, main uh, uh, rig that's serving as a uh, uh, FTP server uh, needs to uh, have a, a pure FTP running, as I've already stated, and I also disable the firewall. The first thing we need to do is install a, a GFTP. So we'll go ahead and go to another uh, clear window here and we'll go ahead and uh, get ready to install the GFTP. And simply uh, the, it's a GFTP and it's actually uh, this one uh, here. And as you can see by the icon, it's actually already installed. Uh, so what we need to do is go ahead and uh, click on it. And go to the server uh, uh, side of the, and then uh, you need to find out the IP address. So ifconfig, ifconfig will give you the uh, 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 local IP address and uh, in my case is 10 0 10 and then you can use the uh, FTP port is generally 21 and you can use root and in my case is password is woof woof and we'll see if it connects yes it connects right away so this window here is the uh, server uh, directory and this is the uh, tiny core so what we can do is go to uh, on the server side I put in a small uh, file so here it is test file txt and we'll put this file in the tiny core uh, here this is uh, actually we'll just delete this because I just did it as a test so we'll go ahead and delete it and then uh, whatever file you want to transfer you go ahead and click on it and uh, click the arrow to move it so actually you're just copying it so now it's copied so it just happens to be empty file but uh, as a test uh, I think it uh, it suffices. So after you've uh, figured out the, uh, the configured the uh, main desktop side and uh, uh, tiny core uh, or client side, what you can do is bookmark it. So we'll just go ahead and it's, uh, it's uh, my main rig. So main PC, and we'll just go ahead and uh, click the remember password and add. So next time, all I have to do is just click on uh, PC to get the uh, everything all uh, ready for uh, uh, transfer the files. So we can just go ahead and edit the uh, the other n uh, n uh, non. Uh, I I don't need the other uh, site, so we can go ahead and go ahead and delete button and yes, delete button yes, delete button yes delete button yes, delete button yes, and OK. So it'd be much quicker next time to go ahead and uh, connect.
because I'll just use that the book bookmark. Okay. So just to uh, finish up, it, all you need to do is just go ahead and uh, click on quit. And so likewise, you can go ahead and upload the files from the client side to the uh, host side, which I didn't go through, but it basically it works the same way. And that's how you uh, can go ahead and transfer files in between the two uh, to uh, home network uh, uh, computers. I hope this is uh, helpful for you.